Ranger, Farseer, and uh, Naga. Uh, the Naga has silence on it, so th that's a really uh, different and neat choice uh, for this matchup. And as you can see, it, it does work effectively, uh, silencing the silencing the uh, druids of the talon as they often clump up and whatnot. He's also getting uh, spirit walkers for some spirit link and dis uh, disenchant and some uh, some witch doctors for the uh, stun and I guess healing wards but I think he wants the st stun more or less more than the healing ward wards so uh, maybe you guys want to give this a try against uh, mass talents I know mass talents is uh, a lot of trouble uh, for orcs so this may be the uh, new uh, breakthrough that orc needs to counter mass talents so both players uh, still creeping here uh, Soju wants to get his heroes a, a bit higher after he he uh, he he got that advantage after the uh, that battle there. So he wants to level up his heroes right now. Uh, maybe put up an expo. That's what I would be doing when you have the uh, advantage as Night Elf, and especially in this matchup, an uh, an expo is a very good thing. It's hard for Orc to stop, and I would definitely recommend it as Night Elf has the advantage a lot during the uh, late game. I wouldn't recommend putting one up too early unless you're going like mass hunts or something uh, because they are going uh, they're I don't know, Orc Tier 2 is probably their their best Their if they get the Shadow Hunter they have a, a huge advantage and sometimes they can often win with that push not all the time but so anyways uh Soju here going to hit headaches with uh, base, and he does bring some wisps along. Very smart move. He has excess lumber, so he's just going to dispel those on uh, headaches uh, units uh, and casters. And right there, headache just owned those druids at the town. You can see how headhunters do such enormous damage. So cyclone going off here, and he realizes that's not very effective. Uh, he's just going to disenchant that all the time. So uh, on vulnerability pot on the. Uh, on the uh, demon hunter here, and that both the heroes go back to use their healing scrolls. Now he moves the quill bore out of the way to free his uh, his beastmaster. Something very nicely done here. And right now Soju just focusing down on these on these uh, headhunters and casters with shift Q. Naga going down. This is really nice micro here from Soju, and he's even going to sa save his demon hunter here with 12 HP, moving other units to. Uh, get out of the way so he really dominated that battle uh, he's forced to run now though with those two low heroes so um, that's just uh, shows you how important position is right there that was a great position for Soju even so he was in his uh, in his base so and I think most ranged battles do depend on position. Uh, so right now is a perfect time for an uh, for an expo. Maybe not so the first one, but he definitely has a very clear advantage now. Uh, 50 food over 42 food, uh, killing the Nagas, and he definitely has higher hero levels. So right now is perfect time for expo, although he doesn't do that. So maybe something for you uh, Night Elf players to do next time. Uh, and that's probably, that, that's exactly how Showtime won his game uh, with that expo there versus Headache. Uh, if you watched it, I'm not sure. Um, he did uh, Mass Talons as well. And he, I find the strategy that Headache is doing allows Night Elf to expo. And it's going to be very hard for for the Orc to stop, so... Um, with Grunt and Raider, if, if Night Elf expands, you can just go hit them, and uh, they're going to have a hard time fending off your attack here. So, I didn't talk about, uh, about like, uh, groupings, and I'm I'm not 100% how most players do it. I Again, it's preference. Uh, I'll tell you what I do, though. I used to play Night Elf a long time ago, so it shouldn't be too much worse. Uh, I put my he it looks like Soju does this too as I see when he uh he puts his uh like you can see the little green uh rings around the units. He has his uh his beastmaster summons and archers in like group 1 
and he has his talons and demon hunter in another group. Now, he wants his demon hunter in another group because it's uh, a melee hero. Uh, I would, like, I would put it with hunter. If you have any melee, always put your demon hunter in that group. Uh, or just stick it in group one. I'd probably be more inclined to just stick it in with, with the archers and control it more or less with F1. Now, here's the uh, five peon situation with uh, better position, as I was talking about earlier. Now, Headache does not want to fight this battle right here. You see where Soju is? That is the perfect position uh, for uh, a ranged battle or even melee. You, so, Headache does not want to be going in there. He would have lost that game right there. Even losing the five peons is not... you, you got to think things through. I mean, some players would be like, oh my god, i got to go save by peons. No, you do not want to go and fight in an area like that. So Soju here is just waiting here at this perfect position. He is now going to check out where his opponent is. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> but, yeah, if your opponent's capping in his base, go put up an expo. I mean, even most races, if you have an advantage, uh, it would be good to put up a, an expo because once it's up, it's going to be very hard for the uh, other player to stop you as you have double the gold income. So, that's a huge bonus. It's like two times as units. So, that's going to be very hard for Headache to uh, stop. So, Cyclone going off here, and no attack move going off, remember. Uh, focusing fire, focus firing on both players here. I'd say the uh, Headache is doing a much better job right now. Um, just owning up the talents. As you can see, he fo he matches up the armor types first rather than going for the archers. He's going for the for the talons with his uh, with his army here. All of his uh, spirit walkers, however, have been cyclones, so uh, he couldn't dis disenchant any of them. Now both heroes here go down for Soju, and that's really nice about the uh, the uh, Naga second and uh, headache. Pretty much won that that battle due to uh, better micro. He focused down the, the talons uh, a lot better than uh, Soju was focusing down on the uh, on uh, Headache's units and also he killed uh, killed two of his heroes. Now again uh, with that combo it's really deadly because first of all you have Chain Lightning, uh, you have Silence and you also have uh, you also have the uh, the slow era from the Naga and Forked Lightning. So that's a really deadly combo. I, I think uh, to counter this, or to at least save some of your heroes, maybe Soju should have picked up some staff of, uh, staffs of preservation. That uh, definitely would have helped here. Both players now fighting for the better position. Uh, Headache doesn't want to lose this game now, and he's going to make sure he doesn't by getting a better position right here. See, uh, Soju is just sitting back in the back of his base to get also a better position. Also, um, the uh, people were asking in one of the uh, replays or something somewhere I saw, why does Soju get the uh, or not Soju headache get the Naga second? Well, first of all, it, Fork Lightning is a really actually I'll go over that after. So. Uh, the headhunters here are focusing down on the Druid of the Talon. Uh, status traps are going uh, down everywhere here. And as you can see, he's not even using healing wards. He's just using the uh, trap, the traps here. Chain lightning going off, and uh, Headache just dominated those last two battles. Uh, I don't... He, he didn't have his good micro the first two uh, battles, it seemed, but uh, he surely picked it up after the last two there. So, uh, someone was asking about the Naga, uh, why did they pick him up? Well, tell you the truth, if you didn't have a Naga second, it's going to be very hard for you to sustain any tier 2 pushes or something like that. Uh, the Naga is great for picking off uh, slow units, and is it's a very good hero at once you get him, and it's at it, like early to mid game, it's a really good hero, because it's like Entangle, uh, it just it prevents you from microing that one unit and saving that one unit, and uh, it's gonna be really hard because y your your opponent can save units while 
you can't be because you're entangled or slowed or something. So it's you're gonna be winning a lot more of the uh, the tier two ish battles uh, rather than uh, if he didn't have them, he w- he might lose the game there and then because headhunters aren't that strong just by themselves and like I I don't think headhunters would have won if he w- if uh, Soju would have went archer uh, druid dryad I'm not sure but I don't think they w- he would have won so if you do see something like that as night elf uh, maybe try your your four or three unit four unit combo or three whatever this one Cygnus made up or whatever. So try that rather than Mass Talons as Mass Talons is just playing into their hands. You have the uh, the, the bad armor type. They have uh, Disenchant. Uh, it's not going to be a, a good choice. So I hope you guys learned something about ranged uh, micro. That's what I was trying to focus on uh, on this audio uh, with a few other things. My next audio I I hope to be uh, on uh, air micro, uh, such as like gargoyles and stuff like that. Uh, and I'll see if I can find a nice game for you guys with that. I know that's one of the most annoying parts of uh, Warcraft 3 is when you got like a million gargs and you're trying to micro with them. Uh, I can't even do it. So I'll, I'll try to help you guys out with that uh, and uh, see what I can do. Until that time, uh, get back to those ladder games and get practicing with your micro. Uh, I'll see you guys around.